Hello and welcome to the show. This week's Pharaoh's episode starts on a Forza Horizon 2 with a stuck AI car. Now we've seen this plenty of times. This guy trying to be nice, trying to rescue the Honda and then gets himself stuck as well. It just sort of clips the rear bumper up on the curb and being rear wheel drive, this car is, uh, is not going anywhere. And the game doesn't quite think it's, it's crashed, so it doesn't reset it. Yeah, that's... Uh, He's got himself in a little bit of trouble there. Minecraft dance again. Horizon 2 absolutely flying that round Storm Island with a Hennessy Venom. This is a jump in my rally car build. That you get quite a lot more height in it with a Venom doing, I don't know, 200 and something miles an hour. Uh, hitting it amazingly. He misses everything and lands it cleanly. AM Drag 10 also has a spectacular near miss going off the motorway at some 150 miles an hour with a Fiat. And again, misses absolutely. <laughs> I think he maybe bumps the first tree ever so slightly. And that puts him forward enough there. It's just a tiny bump, I think. And then he's forward enough to go through all <laughs> these other trees. You couldn't do that if you tried. If you tried to do that one, it would take so many attempts for, for you to get it right. But uh, yeah, that's an impressive near miss. Not to be outdone by the uh, the stunts on Horizon Gij on GTA 5. Not really paying attention to where he's going. Uh, the last second sees a wrecked car. Can't really do much about it. Doesn't really matter either as the elegy goes for a spectacular, spectacular roll. A psycho rat on GTA 5 with a crewman that thinks it's a submarine. Now you will notice that it's sort of just a little bit glitchy going on at the back of the car. It, it, it's sort of bouncing around for kind of no apparent reason and then all of a sudden we're underwater. It's not <laughs> not a good idea having your Karuma suddenly want to be a Bond car while you're trying to get somewhere and, and then it not working and it's sinking and these guys here are now all stuck at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, I've not seen that one before, I have to say. I, I have not seen that one before. Uh, LM145 uh, on GTA 5, maybe not the cleverest idea of running down the middle of the, the very busy roads. Now, I was half expecting him to get absolutely mullered by the police cars, but they all went by fine. He's gone and found an ingot that, uh, that he can steal and use. Uh, he does manage to hit a police vehicle. This one, though, happens to be a helicopter that's falling out of the sky directly in front of him. And then the police get very angry with the fact that he hit their that hit their chopper and they start shooting. Yeah, I'm not really sure that's his fault. The, the police are being, well, they're being the GTA 5 police. JP244, uh, again, again with the police giving chase. Now, we've seen the off-road technique of getting away from the cops. It is a pretty decent one. I managed to get away from five stars with an insurgent just by exploring off-roading. Saber, maybe not quite such a good off-road vehicle. Turns out, though, the police cars are even worse off-road vehicles. Look at it, tumble. That's far too much speed uh, that uh, he tried to take. Yep, he's long gone. Uh, Flareon123. Now, we've all done this to a friend's car in GTA Online. You see it spawned in and you decide to take its tyres out. However, not very often does your friend have a guard Prius. And the guard Prius has decided to carry this person all the way down the bridge. Carried him so far and then, well, he tries to stand up on it. That doesn't end well. And slide up the blood trail down the road. Yeah, guard Priuses. They are they are surprisingly dangerous. Uh, Jelly Pug on GTA 5 trying to tow a rather wrecked truck. He's using Franklin's special ability. At least I assume that's what's, uh, what, what's going on here. Not a good idea when towing a big truck. The truck does not like that whatsoever. <laughs> Goes full attack mode on the uh, the tow truck at uh, well that's that's some shot it's just fired it all the way across <laughs> across the road yeah that's that's impressive I, I have that that is that is pretty damn impressive a uh, superfly drifter on project cars uh, racing a multi-class race at uh, spa and uh, we have a sneak peek of audi's audi's new overtaking uh, overtaking devices they have on their car as the audi comes to the inside here he hits the special button and it launches the car up into the air this time it doesn't quite work. I think it still needs some uh, some testing before it's fully operational. But Audi are going for uh, the cheeky spring tactic. Uh, Yami here, six two six eight two. Sorry, on uh, project cars, finding out what happens when you don't calibrate your steering wheel correctly and you wiggle around with a Clio. Apparently, so somebody's gone and fitted the hydraulics. To the, the cars are not supposed to do this. They're not really <laughs> supposed to wibble and wobble. I was really hoping that it was going to bounce up enough to uh, to roll over. It doesn't quite. It goes berserk though. But it's it's a couple of the bounces going quite a long way. There we go, another one. Quite a long way on two wheels. He starts driving it forwards and still the car <laughs> wiggles and bounces. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to be able to go from, from lock to lock that quickly. It does somewhat upset the car. And for, <laughs> from third person, it looks even sillier. Look at it wiggle and dance and bounce. And yeah, racing Clios, I don't think, uh, are supposed to come with hydraulics particularly. But uh, 
<laughs> there we go. We've we've found one doing its dance at uh, I think this is at Brand's Hatch. Uh, to the crew with a fanatic monkey 99. Now we have often joked about the police being terrible uh, in the crew. Uh, we can never quite decide if the police are worse in the crew or in GTA 5. Well, these officers are having none of it. They have developed a new technique for getting rid of cars as they kind of sort of swarming around him. They, they do the kamikaze attack squad maneuver and it kind of fires everything to the side. I don't <laughs> Why on earth that decided that they should all visit the scenery? I don't know. Uh, Punkle Jones is on the crew again in a police chase and uh, this time the police are living up to their to their, their normal expectations. He does his BMW stuck on a taxi, which is fairly amusing in the first place, but the BMW is well and truly wedged there. He cannot move the car. The police then come to give him a helping hand and promptly wreck their own car and now there are no other police cars around. There's, there's, no, there's no police vehicles in round to carry on the pursuit, and as you can see, it wasn't a particularly high wanted rating, and he's escaped. Now, you don't normally escape the police with a police car crashed into your rear bumper, but uh, there we go. Yeah, they did one amazing takedown, and uh, now then they've, then they've failed. Uh, finally, we have got Zed Nausea on ride. At the start of the race, when the AI gets absolutely confused as to how to motorbike. It's just everything sort of goes wrong off the start line, and we're all off to this stuff. For some reason, I think somebody has put a giant magnet in the wall over there. The, the, the <laughs> blooming cheaters is what it is, but it, putting magnets in the wall, the bikes, they just can't, they can't deal with it. They get reset, and they do eventually carry on. A uh, replay camera is not quite ideal for, uh, for showing this, but uh, yeah, five or six bikes just suddenly veer off. This guy goes to the other wall first, and then it's sudden veer across the road, and <laughs> all of the riders fall off. Uh, yeah, I've, I've played a fair bit of ride. I have never seen them do that at uh, the start of a race ever. So, yeah, motorbike tracks uh, can be quite dangerous when you stick magnets in the wall. Anyway, that is it for this video. If you have clips you would like to submit to this series, then you can via our forums. There will be a link in the description at the very top. There is a Fail Race Clip Submission section, and in there you can find all the rules and how to submit clips. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time... Uh, goodbye.